Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and as you can see, my husband decided we needed another dog. It turns out shelters here don't get huskies very often, so we were looking for quite a while. But this is Tozy, and this little gremlin is why my audio will be a bit lower quality in this video. All my recording equipment is in my studio, and she's very much in the chewing stage, so I can't leave her alone to go up there, and she also howls when she's alone, so I'm just going to try my best with my gaming headset. Might not be perfect, but it's better than nothing. A couple weeks ago, I sat down to draft some new patterns for my doll Tall, which is a head I've sculpted myself that will go on a Doll Legend 61cm body. Doll Legend is no longer in business. They closed while I was waiting for my order. Because of that, I originally wasn't sure how helpful it would be to have patterns made for him. But since the 60 to 62 centimeter range is a more standard SD or one third size, they should fit a pretty wide variety of dolls that I haven't been able to make things for before. I started with a basic outfit, a shirt and pants. As a character, Tall is a thief and has a specific outfit for heists, but he'd also have some everyday wear for when he's not heisting. I drafted everything from measurements to give me a basic slooper first. Originally, I thought I'd do a shirt with a V-shaped opening in the front, but I ultimately wasn't happy with the fit and decided to make a regular open front shirt. However, I wanted it to have more volume and texture to it than a typical shirt, so I ended up making the front piece wider across the shoulder and then split the back so there would be a yoked shoulder and a wider lower back that could be gathered to the yoke. Having the yoke on the back of the shoulder also allowed me to have a predetermined width to which I could gather that front shoulder piece, so it was guaranteed to be the right size. Most of the pattern goes together the same way as the dress shirt I designed for my bigger boys, but there are a few differences. First is that the back gathers to the yoke instead of having a centered pleat. I kind of messed that up at the beginning and sewed things together that shouldn't have been, but at least that's easy to fix. The shoulder of the front pieces also gets gathered before it's joined with the yoke, and you can see this adds a lot more volume and interest to the shirt's design overall. The sleeves are more like the sleeves I did for Rune's Grey Fantasy shirt, where the sides of the sleeve are made into rolled hems and the end of the sleeve is gathered into a cuff. The sleeve also gathers just slightly at the top of the shoulder, not a whole lot, but I felt like it added some consistency to the design. Since the sleeves are sewn with rolled hems, that means the bottom of the sleeve can have a gap left close to the cuff that lets the cuff open, which spares me from having to sew a very tiny sleeve lap. Those are really the only major things different between how the other patterns go together and how this one goes together, but this is really more of a project vlog than a tutorial, so there you go. The pants ended up being super challenging because of the shape of the ball joint where the thigh meets the hip. It took a ton of drafting and redrafting. At one point, I even switched to using pattern making software to give me a sloper because I felt like I had to be doing something wrong, like maybe I just forgot how to design a pants pattern. But you can see even that ended up being all chopped up and modified with scraps of paper and painter's tape before I finally got a draft that worked. 
I think in all I ended up making seven pairs of pants before one fit correctly and was ready to be copied to a bigger piece of paper so I could add things like pockets and a fly front. You can see my method for adding pockets to the doll pants here, it's really simple and easy to sew. Amusingly, I ran out of brown thread as soon as I started this project, but I was so tired that I just decided to use black and make it contrasting thread instead of trying to go buy some more thread in the right color. On the whole, the process of sewing these pants is pretty much the same as the pattern for yokeless jeans I made for my big dolls. The only real difference is the dart in the back to make sure it's fitted at the waist. I was surprised at how much shape there was to this pattern when I was done. A lot of curves along the side to ensure it would be properly fitted, but also allow the doll to sit down. I am happy with the end fit though, so that's the part that really matters. One thing I did wrong was that at some point I forgot I'd intended to have back pockets on this. So it was like the last thing I ended up doing and it was so hard to get those little pockets on the back after the pants were fully constructed. But hey, I did it, I managed, and I even made real buttonholes on everything. Which I admit that finishing with buttons and snaps is like the bane of my existence, and an embarrassing number of things I make are held shut with safety pins because I just don't want to do it. Plus, buttons and snaps are really hard on my wrists. Writer problems, I've been writing three to four books a year for ages, and I get issues with carpal tunnel. I have to spare myself somewhere, somehow. In the end, I was really happy with how this outfit came together. The brown pants and the unbleached cotton muslin shirt go together really nicely, I think, and while I plan for him to have some suspenders and even got some nice elastic to use for it, it's super hard to find suspender clips in a tiny size, so I'll have to use buttons and I'll let you guess why that's not done yet. But hey, I got a new book out already this year, so I will either get to the suspenders eventually, or I'll just order some from Alice's Collections or something. The patterns for both the shirt and pants are up in my pattern archive now, so you can go download those for free if you have a doll in this size range who might need them, and I will hopefully be back soon with something a little more exciting and possibly fewer puppy teeth marks on my hands. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.